It's been a while since I've had a trip go completely awry. Sure, things go wrong every now and then. But not like this. It started out as a loop through parts of Shining Rock and Middle Prong, using the mounts to see and art look. Sort of a sister loop to the one we did last spring. By starting here, we could get one of the biggest obstacles out of the way. Stay. This water crossing is the trailhead. And the gateway to a seven mile stretch of solitude. After zigzagging up, down, and around the swift spots in the river, we finally made it to the trail on the other side. Careful. Numerous blowdowns made You're doing good. navigation a struggle. The absence of blazes didn't help either. I started to get this uneasy feeling in the pit of my stomach the further we went. Like this was way more than I bargained for. Like we needed to turn around. another tricky river crossing later, it was time to figure out a backup plan. just go somewhere familiar and backpack around there a couple days instead.
sometime after dark, a herd of deer came looking for snacks. But with my trusty pot and spoon, I was able to scare them off. Along with any other campers nearby. A few hours later, I woke up on the cold temp floor. My sleeping pad had a tear and nothing in the repair kit could remedy it. Needless to say, staying another night or two was no longer an option. No dreams, no love, just night without sleep. Plan C. Try to get some sleep, an early start, and a few more miles in before heading home. Easier said than done. Especially when your shoes and just about everything else are frozen solid. At this point, all I could do was laugh. There's no freaking way. It took a couple hours, but things finally warmed up and thawed out enough to break camp. Although this definitely was not the adventure I expected, I don't regret it. If anything, this was a great lesson on when to hold them and when to fold them. Do you want me to take your bag off at least? Come here. Barrett, come. I'm gonna take this off. Ready? There you go. Bye.